This uh, project, uh, Tilt Train, Train Project, is a partnership between Arts Queensland and Queensland Rail that's been supported through Queensland Government's Public Art Art Plus Plays program. Putting the work on these trains, on the tilt trains, is certainly a wonderful way of exhibiting and celebrating Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples of Queensland's uh, contemporary artworks. It also uh, extends that a long association that our Indigenous peoples of this state have had with Queensland Rail. For the first tilt train, the artists were selected from an invited shortlist of established artists by a panel of uh, Indigenous curators. And uh, for this tilt train, um, they chose Judy Watson of the Wanyi people from northwest Queensland and also Alec Tapoti from Baru Island, uh, and that's in the Torres Strait Islands. With the passengers getting into the train, um, to me, they're going to be a part of it because it's not just about me having my artwork on the design, it's about the passengers travelling in my artwork, you know, wherever they want to go. And I think it'll be fabulous to see the images transported to the sides of the train itself over such a large expanse. I am known to my people as Zugub, which means the ancestral spirit. Um, I am from Badu Island and uh, my family is from Badu. My bloodline lies back to Mabiag Island, in the that's in the western Torres Strait. And um, I practice uh, traditional designs, uh, carving especially linos. I'm a, I, uh, I, I, I am a spiritual person, I talk to my ancestors, I connect with them and I channel with them and I, I sort of ask for guidance for this thing. I've studied um, old artefacts um, from my ancestors that have been collected and um, taken overseas in museums and galleries overseas and, and, and in Australia nationally and internationally and um, I've had like studied the, the, the engraving closely on the artifacts, like for example drums, bamboo pipes um, and other artifacts and um, that's how I came about um, cutting lino and to me it was the best way to sort of sort of obtain that traditional feel like to, to, to get that feel of traditional designs. Being seafaring people we've always um, we, we cover the three elements, like the, 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 of, the, of, the, of the earth, the, the sea, the land and the sky. But we've always mainly focused on the sea because that's our, that's our main sort of food source. That's, where we, that, that's how we are, like we're seafaring people, Melanesian Australian people. Um, and yeah, that's, that's basically most of my artwork are always about creatures, um, sea creatures that exist in the Torres Strait. My country is from northwest Queensland on my mother's side, the Aboriginal side of our family. My grandmother, Grace Isaacson, was born on Riversley Station and our language group is Wanyi language group, which is cut by the boundaries of the Northern Territory and Queensland borders. My work is generally about concealed histories. Uh, a lot of these are to do with Indigenous people and our history. Uh, predominantly northwest Queensland, but sometimes it will change according to where I'm travelling and what's surfacing in contemporary news or the media. I'm very excited about having the Heron Island uh, graphs and charts and etching images on the side of the tilt train because not only is it uh, a visual reference to my work, it also carries the charts of scientists who are talking about global warming and ecological environmental issues. So it was interesting for me to look at the charts that the scientists were producing and I was very drawn to them, for both for what they were talking about but also for the, the beauty and mathematical precision of the charts themselves. And so I've chosen to overlay these charts as screen printed graphs over the etchings which I had made for the, for the Heron Island Suite. This is the first time uh, an Indigenous artwork has been um, created, exhibited, on a train of this scale. So it is one of the longest moving pieces of Indigenous art in the world. As an artist you need to work with very good specialists and in this case I had fantastic specialist printmakers working with me making the prints for the Heron Island Suite and I also worked with Madeline Hoy, a designer, in translating the images to be fabricated onto the exterior of the train. The te technology used um, to transfer the digital photographs um, of, this, of, of, of this artwork, of the artwork, onto what's called um, a wrap. 
and um, the wrap is uh, like an adhesive skin. It's just an amazing product that um, we've been able to use to represent our Indigenous culture, creativity, our wonderful works of art. I'm going to make sure I have that intricacy um, with the designs that I'm going to you know, finish off for the tilt train. So I think um, it's going to, you know, in terms of recognition, um, recognising Torres Strait work, it's going to you know, really, really uh, benefit us. You'll see it both in a stationary form and also as it's moving in a visual form. And it'll be almost uh, filmic in the way that you see the images charting across the space while you're standing, uh, you know, or perhaps as we were in Cairns recently, sitting in the driving driver's seat and looking at the tilt train going past the, the cane fields. For our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples, um, this is just going to be just such an amazing event to see the artwork, you know, moving by through the towns, celebrating culture, spiritual enrichment and the connection, you know, with our own artworks. It's just an amazing, incredible experience. I do feel very lucky to be chosen as one of the artists. Uh, to be sort of wrapping the tilt train and very glad that Alec Tapoti is, you know, wrapping the other side of the tilt train with his images. So I'm very proud to have my work flashing past on the train. You know, I'm really looking forward to see the final result. Um, but I think um, it's going to... Uh, um encourage a lot of young Torres Strait Islander artists as well um, to, to maybe work towards um, um, having their work as public, public art.